Hello, my name is David Hay. I'm the author of this book, Enterprise Model Patterns, Describing the World. This was my second book on model patterns, but it's the first one I used the UML notation. Now, after years of being a fan of Richard Barker's uh, ER notation, for me to use UML had all of my data modeling colleagues swearing, I, swearing that I had finally gone over to the dark side. And because it's a, a modified version of UML, all of my UML friends said I have bastardized their notation. So basically, I'm here to provide a reconciliation in UML and data modeling. And this book explains how I brought all these together. Uh, the gist of it is that if you want to do a good job of what I call essential inter entity relationship modeling, you have to follow certain things, and you can do that as well with, with UML as you can with any other notation. A couple of things that are departures from the object-oriented world that developed UML. The First of all, the definition of a class. Uh, in the object-oriented world, basically anything can be a class. And here, our what we call entity types are specifically describing things of significance to the business. The relationships between them are structural, and in the object-oriented world, a relationship is a path from one, uh, one class to another. And here, that's not so. It is a structure that links two classes. And so the words that describe the relationship are a predicate. Each of the first class must be or may be in the predicate, uh, one and only one, or one or more of the object class. In addition, it is important to uh, follow certain rules of aesthetics, which are rules that unfortunately ER modelers are kind of casual about as well. Uh, but in here I make explicit the fact that you want to lay out the boxes so that the lines are all straight, orient the uh, relationships so that the crow's feet go to the left or up, and uh, and represent the subtype boxes inside the supertype boxes to provide it a much more compact uh, appearance. More than that, you have just a few boxes per page and build up starting with one or two and then add more uh, to get to a complete subject area. Hello, my name is David Hay. I do what's called essential data modeling, which is trying to capture the essence of a business. When I walk in to visit a client, typically what I see is something that looks a little like that. I'm told that, oh, this, this world here is way too complicated. It's a, it's a, uh, I've been here for years, and I don't imagine you'll ever be able to figure it out. Um, but the interesting thing about it is that if you take a look at any company, uh, under the surface, there is a kind of geometry. And if you're able to find the geometry, and it's sort of like there are cybernetic rules, laws, just like there are laws of aerodynamics. If you can find those underlying laws of cybernetics of, of business, if you will, uh, and really put them to work, you can make something that'll really fly.